Jalan, jalan. A strong, shallow undersea earthquake shook eastern Indonesia's main island of Java on Friday, causing some damage, but no immediate reports of casualties. The U.S. Geological Survey said the quake had a magnitude of 7 and occurred at a depth of 9 kilometers north of Pakaran in East Java province. Two other earthquakes of lesser magnitude struck the same area earlier Friday and were also felt in Surabaya, the nearest city, while buildings in the capital, Jakarta, shook for several seconds later. Third earthquake. Authorities said a house and the town hall of a village collapsed in Tuban district. Indonesia's meteorology, Hello, climatology and geophysics agency said there was no danger of a tsunami but warned of possible aftershocks. Indonesia, an archipelago of 270 million people that frequently experiences earthquakes, is susceptible to seismic fluctuations because it lies on major geological faults known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. A magnitude 6. Zero earthquake last year killed about 600 people in the West Java city of Siandra. This is the deadliest earthquake in Indonesia since the 2018 earthquake and tsunami in Sulawesi that killed more than 4,300 people. Climate change and global warming are causing unpredictable effects on our living environment. One of the most notable phenomena in this situation is the intensification of earthquakes. Earthquakes are inevitable natural phenomena on Earth, but climate change and global warming are increasing the risk and extent of damage from these earthquakes. To better understand the connection between climate change and earthquakes, we need to learn about the basic factors behind earthquake generation. Earthquakes occur when there is a release of energy from the sliding of rocks on the ground, causing oscillations and vibrations on the surface. One of the main causes of rock sliding is underground seismicity, which is often related to the movement of the Earth's crustal plates. Climate change affects the Earth's crust not directly, but has a profound impact on the natural environment, especially on geological clusters that are under stress. A clear example is the increase in sea temperatures and the melting of snow and ice in the Arctic and Antarctic regions. As the snow and ice melt, the amount of ocean water increases, causing great pressure on the crustal plates on the seafloor. In addition, climate change also affects the distribution of groundwater and subsurface water. This change in water levels and distribution can reduce the stability of geological structures, allowing rock slippage and thereby increasing the risk of earthquakes.
Furthermore, changing environments also affect the development of seismic zones. Human activities such as oil exploration and groundwater extraction can cause land subsidence, altering the loads on the shell plates and causing ground movements. However, it should be noted that although climate change may increase the risk of earthquakes, not all earthquakes are caused by climate change. There are many other complex factors that also play important roles in the development of earthquakes, including local geology, seismic loading, and natural geologic activity. In the future, to reduce the risk of earthquakes and cope with the effects of climate change, it is necessary to promote research and apply reasonable prevention and control measures. This includes improving early warning systems, building earthquake-resistant structures, and ensuring sustainable management of natural resources. In addition, reducing emissions that cause climate change is also a necessary measure to reduce the risk of future earthquakes. In 2004, a powerful earthquake in the Indian Ocean caused a tsunami that killed more than 230,000 people in dozens of countries. Please join us every day to stay updated with weather information. Don't miss out. Click the register button to support us. Oh,